What does it take to write a post for your LinkedIn profile? A good hook? Good grammar? Other things? I don't know. Let's find out today by putting a LinkedIn AI versus a freelancer. Who's gonna win? The human mind or the computer chip? Chip? Do computers think through the chip or the hard drive? It's everything. Everything. Although technically the human also thinks through everything. You know, because they speak through the the voice, whatever. Computer chip versus the human brain. Who's gonna win? LinkedIn content or human content? We're gonna put them to the test. I'm headed over to Fiverr and I will hire somebody to write a LinkedIn post. Then I'll head over to the internet and we'll use Taplio's LinkedIn AI to write a LinkedIn post on the same topic and we'll pick a winner. Stick around, this is gonna be a good one. So let's head over to fiverr.com and I'll just type LinkedIn. What do we have? I will optimize your LinkedIn profile. I will create a fully optimized LinkedIn profile. Nobody's doing LinkedIn posts. Let me search that, LinkedIn post. I will write a set of LinkedIn posts for your brand, $125. I'm not gonna do that. Come on, what am I made of money? No, this is why I have an AI do all my content. I can't afford a social media manager, come on. What's the cheapest one we can find? I will write a set of LinkedIn posts for any niche for 15 bucks. One day of niche specific LinkedIn posts to boost your corporate or personal brand, 15 bucks. How do we make this a fair shot? I feel like we should hire a couple. There's not a lot of LinkedIn post writers on Fiverr. I assume that's because there's not a lot of demand, but if you guys want to get in here, it seems like it's completely empty. The demand for Fiverr LinkedIn writers is unknown, but the supply is low. So let's order from Twinkle28. And let's get this going. 17 bucks. I'll just pay directly with PayPal. One step left to get your order started. To understand your requirements better, I would like to about the niche you want to build your credibility in. Please share your niche and requirements. Hey, please write a post on cold email for B2B. Make it go viral. There we go. She has the instruction, a viral worthy post. Start the order. And now we wait, she needs two days. So let's come back in two days and take a look. And then we'll put her head to head with Taplio. Several days later. It's been a few days, so let's go over to Fiverr and see what happened. Twinkle28 delivered our order. Let's see, Twinkle28. How are these LinkedIn posts? Here are the LinkedIn posts. They're delivered in a Word document. Great, download, let's see. LinkedIn content service, marketing. I'm I'm doubting everything about this already. I haven't even scrolled down just from page one. Let's see how we did. Drafted by Twinkle Kapoor. LinkedIn content service. I tried sending 1,000 cold email in the last month and here's what I got. On an average, 31% responded, 15 scheduled meeting, 10% asked for proposal, and only 5.5% agreed to work with me. Only because I understood what is cold emailing, a skill. We paid for this. We really paid for this. Only because I understood what is cold emailing, a skill, a complex expertise, a work of arts? <laughs> nah, it's a way of being you with your prospect over email. Imagine having 20 seconds with your prospect while you're in an elevator with him. What do you say? That's cold emailing. Specific, precise, relevant, adding value, and that's it. Cold emailing is integral for your businesses that aim to sustain in a cutthroat competitive market. The talent lies in a powerful draft. Shoot for it today. I can't post this on my LinkedIn. That's gonna be embarrassing. I will post it to troll on my Twitter. Uh, and let's let's see if it hits, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's see if, if that hits, bro. So let's put it up on our Twitter. The reason why I'm putting it on Twitter is because the Twitter audience understands that I'm joking if I post this. I would hope, I would hope so. I paid $18 for this thread at fiverr.com. What do you think? And now we'll really troll our audience. I hate doing this. We'll troll our audience because we'll do the thread delay. So they'll watch like every one minute, it'll post a new thread. So that's that. I am not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Let's see if AI inside of Taplio can write a better thread about cold email. And we can even use her starter, so. I tried sending 1,000 cold email in the last month and here's what I got. Let's change that to cold emails and I'll change here's what I got to here's what I learned. So let me generate this on Taplio and see what happens. So I didn't want to clog up my <laughs> LinkedIn feed. I did post that thread to Twitter where it got 16 likes. To give you an idea, the last thread we posted got over 100 likes, 97. 
Uh, so this is an underperforming thread is what I would say. I think Taplio's AI could do better. So let's go on over to Taplio and have them create a post using the magic of artificial intelligence. We'll go to Taplio, we'll go to AI generated. And now what we have is completely original AI generated posts. So we can use these as a starting place. A good cold email is specific personal ad value goes away. Pro tip, add warmth to cold emails to make them sound friendlier. So let's edit and post. This is a good enough one to post as is. Let's use Taplio to add to it. What people say about cold email. The proper way to do cold email is with thoughtful and personalized correspondence. Ditch the vague message that is more suited for spam and with follow-ups, refine your message. Talk about the prospect's problems and how you can help solve them. Neil Patel. Cold emails are one of the most challenging things to get right. If you had one chance to talk to the right person right now, I'll just tap Leo that to continue. Let's see if I can remember what quote it was trying to write here. Cold emails are one of the most challenging things to get right. If you had one chance to talk to the right person right now in a no pressure friendly way, what would you say? Send an email that makes her get to know you, tells her you care about her and asks for a meeting. John Cristani. My friend calls me a badass cold emailer as they struggle to work out what to say. They know that the best way to get a response from me is to write a long, engaging personal email. Daniel Achterberg. Cold emails are hard, so it's important to approach them the right way. You need to show interest in your recipients. If you only send an email and then don't follow up with a phone call or email, they won't be able to remember you. Instead, follow up with a phone call or email to remind them that you're human and interested in working with them. Cold emails can feel a bit daunting. A chance meeting with Jeff Bezos. And now Taplio. It's just going. I'm going to keep going until it generates something unusable and then we'll just call it there. But I'm loving this quote approach. Very good way to ghostwrite when you don't know the topic. Cold emails can feel a bit daunting. A chance meeting with Jeff Bezos, a potential partnership for you, or rejection, but it's still the best way of contacting people. And I should know, I've sent over 10,000 cold emails in my 15 years in sales, which is a lot, but still nothing compared to the amount of times I've sent emails. So don't say, I can't send cold emails because I'm too shy or cold emails don't work. Still usable. I'm still writing the Taplio post. This is fire. Or I don't know how to structure my cold emails effectively, or I don't know how to follow up. All of these excuses are nonsense. And don't say cold emails don't work anymore. They don't unless you've been living under a rock for a long time. And as for sales phone, okay. So now we've gotten to the nonsense period of this. So let's figure out where to stop it here. So don't say I can't send cold emails because I'm too shy or cold emails don't work. This post was written by the Taplio AI. Create one month of LinkedIn content in 10 minutes using Taplio. And then I'll do the advanced options and we'll auto plug this for one hour. Want to grow on LinkedIn? Check this out. And it'll link to taplio.com. And this one I feel good about posting right to LinkedIn. So let's go ahead and do that. But first I'll copy paste because I'm gonna post it on my Twitter as well. So whose content was superior? Was it the $18 you spent on Fiverr or the Taplio post? I think it was the Taplio post. Let me know down in the comments. Do you agree, disagree? Would love to know. And if you want to try Taplio for yourself, go on over to taplio.com and take it for a spin. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.